in New Hampshire. I am very excited. New Hampshire. So we're going to go see Madame Cherie's house. Well, part of it. It still has a stone walkway. But Madame Cherie was somebody that lived in the New Hampshire area from France. And she came on over and um, did some things during the 20s. She moved here in about 1916. And they built the house in 1931. And then, I'm sure he would come from New York to here. And her castle burnt in 1962. And then she died in 65 in Brattleboro. And she's buried in Meeting House Cemetery. So we used to have ghost stories. Um, when the place died, or when the place got burnt down. There used to be stories about her, like, dying, and her ghost was still here. Look at you! I can see the chimney. You can see the chimney? Yeah. Turn around and wave! And the yeah, it's a multi-story house. Kitchen sink. <laughs> yep, we're underneath now. Yeah. Well, I bet you that was not like that. No, I think. That one. I jumped. I can just bring it this way more. You caught a fish? Yeah. I just got him. I showed him how to use it. <laughs> Your first reel and you caught a fish? Yeah. And you didn't even need a worm. You got a reel or a lure. <laughs> You got a fish. <laughs> I think that's a perch. No, it's a small mouth. Jaggy. Being small mouth. Jaggy. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Don't hit him. Jaggy's in a boat. We can drive him later. Hi, Jaggy. <laughs> hi, buddy. He'll say hi. Yeah. What in the world is that fish? Oh, why is it not going in? <laughs> Jack is trying to figure out what this whole fishing thing's about. He is so afraid. He's like, <laughs> Jaggy's kayaking. Hi, babies. Okay, so Frank, Franklin Pierce um, apparently used to go over this bridge. To so his friend's house. To his friend's house into the uh, Hillsboro. Oh, it looks like it's my hat. Yes. Yes. So um, we had to stop. We were just randomly going down the road. It was there. Yay. So cool. So pretty. Yep. 
Jag doesn't quite understand the purpose of a lawnmower. We try to help out as much as we can. So thank you to Sean and Nicole for letting us. Yeah. <laughs> He's having the time of his life right now. So thank you, Sean and Nicole, for letting us stay and then us do a little work in your yard. And this is what happens when you try to be fancy and getting close to the camper to prove that you can drive it. He hit the camper and bent it and cracked it with a riding lawnmower. Thanks, baby, for trying to be fancy for no reason. I think the corn's on, the, the, the corn's on fire. Good job. Don't keep flaming it, baby. Yep. That one's done. Careful, you might get some popcorn. <laughs> Just worked out. Time for beer. I'll let you know how it tastes. So we we are at the Concord Craft Brewery in Concord, New Hampshire, and we are going to try a flight of eight. There are eight beers, and for the first one, it's supposed to be like a German beer. So capital Kolsch. I live to 738 years old. Yes, definitely. Will I marry Fabian? <laughs> My sources say no. You know how many times it said that? You know how many times? Because <laughs> every time you ask, it says no. <laughs> what about you ask? Go ahead, baby. Will I marry Rebecca? That look good. <laughs> okay, so we like the number one so much that we got this. It's called a growler. Oh my god! It's so cool. And we get to keep the bottle and everything, and it's full of the number one. So just something to think about if you ever make it to Concord, New Hampshire, go to the Concord, go to the Concord Craft Brewery Company and get some.
proceeding onward in America. POA. We're leaving this location, which was a friend's house, who let us stay here while we tour around New Hampshire. And it was pretty fun. So we would just like to say thank you to everybody for letting us stay while we tour around. Yeah, we definitely want to come back and see everybody again. And then show you more views of New Hampshire that we couldn't get because these states are beautiful. Thanks for all the beer parties, the fire parties, the barbecues. Thank you very much. We definitely appreciate it. And if we ever get a backyard, y'all always welcome to come over with your RV. <laughs> See y'all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>